hello and welcome to the StudyTube YouTube channel or Chanel as I like to say. My name is Luke Birch and I'm a third year film and television student at the University of Lincoln and like so many of you because of current world events uh, I've graduated by default so Woo! I like to make a huge variety of content on my personal YouTube channel and social medias um, specifically focusing on education but probably in a less academic way than some of the other brilliant people on this channel. Or Chanel. I like to reach out to people to inspire the beauty, the fun, and importance of education through comedy. As you'll all be aware, this creature has been strolling around the world, no visas, no money, but a shit ton of audacity. Miss Corona has wreaked havoc on every single person on this planet's life, and I for one am disgusted in the cheeky cow. Most significantly though, as you'll all be aware, she has taken a huge monumental impact on our beloved education system. GCSEs, A-levels, and some university exams have been cancelled, and school is out for a probably be the longest summer of our lives. Not even a Disney Channel original movie can anticipate this. This leaves students in a very difficult situation for so many reasons, but specifically our mental health. As I said, I'm a film student and this phrase, what I'm feeling right now, is used a lot by film, TV and script scholars and I'm really experiencing what they call a paradox of change or the paradox of change. It basically means you just feel like you're in a constant state of contradiction with your feelings, with your ideology and with your emotions. You just can't wrap your head around the idea of change this big a magnitude or you know the change that has such a big impact on every single one of our lives you know, i can't even go to mackie's but donald's Closed. You basically might feel like your emotions are invalid or hypocritical. This is a good case in point. The prime example of this is your relationship with education, your feelings about that, and the coronavirus. You may well be sat there feeling so heartbroken, upset, disappointed, and just confused as to how your educational journey has come to an end. You know, you can't go and hug that teacher one last goodbye. You can't sit with your friends in that lesson, you know, for one last time. But at the same time, you feel as though you can't complain about those things because you know that people are dying. You know, there's like this very fine line in our heads that we're trying to balance with our emotions. And for a lot of people, with the paradox of change, they just repress it. This can just lead to a huge build up and boom, before you know it, you flip the Monopoly board and you flip your family off as you run upstairs and cry. Maybe just me and my family, but that's how what I am at Breaking Point. One of the reasons I made this video, as I'll go on to talk about, is I want to kind of give people a space, be that in the comments, be that, you know, messaging the StudyTube project on Instagram or messaging the StudyTubers uh, personally, just, you know, reliving your favorite memories of school, things that you're going to miss the most, things that you do miss the most, just to get it out there and relive that experience so part of you doesn't feel like it was a waste or that it was you know it's always going to be this area of your life that's incomplete from personal experience i know it can just be so cathartic to put pen to paper put thumb to keyboard thumb to phone and just let it out let out your feelings let out how you're feeling without worrying about being judged or you know being called a hypocrite or being told to put things into perspective as i've tried to tell myself so much throughout this whole experience it's so so important to just constantly remind yourself the world is not ending the world is just changing and also let me just say we don't have to cancel everything we can still live our damn lives while social distancing have your own virtual prom as crazy as it sounds get all dressed up create a spotify playlist everyone has it you have the tune you've got no 55 year old dj davy boy you know playing things that he thinks are bangers you can exclude those people that you just know you did not get on with at school because that's absolutely fine you know even at prom just as someone that had prom number one it's very overrated but number two not to diminish the prom experience but everyone kind of just stays in their friendship group anyway so it's kind of like why not just do that but online of course it's not going to be the same but at least you get to connect with your friends everyone can get dressed up and be you know swank ear which also leads me on to something that i wanted to share or teach you guys in this video because that's something we all want to try and do with these study two videos is to teach you something other than you know the importance of your mental health and understanding that it's okay to feel sad or disappointed in how your journey has ended at school or gcse's a levels uni i want to show you a way that you can still capture those memories that one day you know you can show your kids your future children that this is what daddy this is what mummy this is what Sarah, if you want to be a distant parent, this is what Sarah did at prom. Yeah, I graduated during a pandemic, 
but look how I dealt with it. If and only if you've got the spare coin lying about, which may be difficult at times like this, but if you do have, I would definitely recommend, my biggest recommendation for this period right now, if you don't have anything to do, is invest in a green screen. The cheapest one I saw on Amazon was for £10, but if you don't want to pay for that, you can even just put green pieces of A4 paper or, you know, bigger size paper, whatever, on your wall behind you. If you have a laptop or a computer, then amazing. And if you have an Apple laptop like me, perfect, because you can use iMovie or Final Cut Pro, which is what I use. But even if you have just a regular laptop or HP, Google, you know, any company has a laptop these days, they normally come with a free editing software like Windows Movie Maker or something like that. And all you do is film yourself like I'm doing now. It can even be on your phone as well. Take your background footage or image and place it into the editing timeline. Then drag and drop your lovely green screen footage right on top of those images or videos. This next part is very important, but it may vary software to software, but on Final Cut Pro, the key ingredient or the key tool to use for green screen use is called keying. Add that effect to the green screen clip, boom, watch the background disappear, and before you know it, <laughs> you're a frog. <laughs> I know, I said, like Miss Mitchell, love you with all my heart, but that dress, here's the ass. Sad because your girls, lads, and gays post GCSE or post A level holiday has been cancelled. Not anymore, honey. You don't need a visa. Sorry, visa. Why stay in bed when you can swim in the mess? Tell your chemistry GCSE goodbye. You're in the bye. <laughs> Screw the uni of York. You're in New York. Taxi! You ain't got time for drama in the Bahamas. Uh, point is, with a green screen and enough free time, you can go anywhere this summer. And sure, it won't be the exact same as going to any of these places or any of these events like prom, but nonetheless, you can feel like you've escaped this harsh reality that we seem to be in today. But above all, in this period, it's really important to do everything that you can to protect your mental health. Someday soon, we'll be back on our holidays, have our heads in a textbook, and working towards some form of normality. But until then, hang in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Study Tube Project YouTube channel as well as follow me and the rest of the Study Tubers on our personal funny times are tough in this epidemic. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.